good ride on the SWM300 today. I have to say that it impressed me a lot more than I expected. Well, the first thing is when the guys asked me to have a ride on it, I expected the bike to be quite heavy because it is a heavy-ish bike. Uh, but I have to say that that was not at all evident during riding it. Now, I'm not a super experienced rider that can pick all the nuances of performance of, of you know, all the different dirt bikes, but the bike to me felt really brilliant. It tracked really well. I, I just felt that it, um, I could pick a line and it seemed to just go there even a bit more readily than my current Beta 300. Um, it was very, very smooth to ride. I thought instantly the, the feeling I have was that the engine power is, in my own words, it's, it's like a soft power, but when you give it some, there's heaps there. There's heaps of power there. Um, one of the really nice things about the engine is that you can operate it over such a broad range. Um, unlike some four strokes, you can get the thing lugging really low and then hit a lumpy obstacle and it just doesn't chuff, it doesn't do that flame out chuff type thing, it, it just really keeps cranking away, perhaps it's got a bigger flywheel, but I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I felt that I didn't really need to change gears very much. I'd say the bike was confidence inspiring. I, I expected it to be tall and a bit awkward and heavy, actually completely the contrary. I found that once I got on the tracks I was wanting to head off the main beaten track and go through a few ruts and over a few bumps because the bike really did seem to soak it up very well. The suspension was definitely good, uh, it, it felt the, the handling to me was, was definitely great. Um, the engine has an interesting top end, there's a lot more there than you think. I found that I'd wind it up, six gear is not all that high, it's a fairly close ratio box and you think you've reached the top end but keep the throttle open and it just seems to get a second wind and it just absolutely sings and the, the top end is really impressive. So I guess every review has to have its uh, be balanced with the, the cons as well as the positives. Uh, the only downsides I saw with the SWM were just that the uh, obviously the weight we've mentioned, the clutch feels a bit sort of mushy, doughy, a little bit heavy and I think I'd be wanting to put my Clake 1 on there. Um, the shifter was very close for my enormous size 13 feet, uh, which was a struggle for me. Um, and uh, the gearbox is fairly close ratio. As I said, it, it is a really smooth bike to ride on the fire trails when you wind the speed up, but that is a little bit limited by the close ratio box. So if you wanted to have low, low gearing for the tighter trails, you're not going to get you know really high sort of highway type speeds on that bike. Look, there's no doubt it's it's a really good package. I know the SWM is probably what you call a budget bike, but when you actually get to ride one and have a look at it, it's good quality. It's not like a cheap looking bike at all. All the parts are good. And I, I, I thought for the price, it's around about 8.3, I think, um, retail in Australia. That, that's just amazing. That's a really, really great low price. So, you know, for somebody who wants a bike that's really quite competent on the, um, the trails and it's, it's smooth to ride, I mean, compared to my two-stroke, that thing's just magic to, to cruise on at, you know, decent sort of trail, forestry road type speeds. It's, it's a great package for the money, there's no doubt about it. It's not a full-blown enduro bike, it's, it's heavier, you know, it's, it's not got the light weight and performance of, of some of the, you know, obviously much more uh, expensive competitive bikes, but it's a great package and it really has a big niche to fill.